take some time to breathe comfortably. We're living in a situation that requires a lot of patience. And the trick to patience is to figure out where you can make the experience pleasant, where you can make it interesting. And the area inside your body, your breath, is something you have control over. It's one of the things you experience most directly. Nobody else can experience it at all. Nobody can make you breathe in a way that's uncomfortable. So why do you let yourself breathe in a way that's uncomfortable? It's usually because you're not paying attention. That, and sometimes you don't even realize how large a difference can be made when you work with the breath. Connect the in and out breath with the breath energies throughout the body. I received a letter the other day about someone who was I've been told all along that when you focus on the breath, you just breathe naturally. You try not to control the breath at all. But then he found as his breath got more calm, there were spaces between the in-breath and the out-breath. He didn't know what to do with those spaces. Well, one, the Buddha never said, breathe naturally. All of his instructions for the breathing are breathing in particular ways, breathing with particular purposes in mind. You're training yourself. Fourteen out of the sixteen steps are about training to breathe in a particular way. Aware of the whole body, calming the, the effect of the breath on the body, breathing in a way that gives rise to pleasure, breathing in a way that gives rise to rapture. These are all trainings. And so you have to take an active role in the way you breathe so you can get the most out of it. This way, when you're having a sense of well-being in the body, then although the situation outside may not be ideal, it's bearable. At least it's much more bearable than it would be if you were breathing in a way that was tight, constricted, painful. So you have the opportunity to breathe well, breathe skillfully, and take some nourishment from that. And John Fuhn calls this grass at the cattle gate, the images of a gate of a corral. And as soon as the gate gets open, the cattle go running out into the meadow to get the grass. And there's grass growing right there at the post next to the gate, but nobody eats it. But it's right there. You don't have to go running anyplace else. So take advantage of the things that are right close to you. And you find, particularly with the breath, that has a lot more to offer than you might have thought. <laughs>